Hello everybody, my name is James Elliott and I run Elliott Antique Clocks Limited and I also run the eBay shop, the Horology Centre. And today I'd like to share with you this magnificent giant carriage clock. Um, it's a giant in every sense. Um, it measures um, to the top of the handle 25.5 centimetres and without the handle almost 19.5 centimeters so you get a lot of people saying they've got a giant but it's not always the case you can have a slightly taller clock but this one is a uh, is a true giant in every sense of the word um, this is a um, a full-size gorge case and if we just compare how much bigger it is it absolutely dwarfs the uh, the other clock, as I said, that's a standard clock. You can just see by my hand how big it is compared to a, a standard carriage clock. Really wonderfully uh, proportioned, um, in absolutely excellent condition. Really nice uh, reeded columns with Corinthian tops. It's very substantial, very heavy. Slightly, um, it's going to be slightly cheaper than the um, than any other sort of uh, giant carriage clock I've sold in the past. Normally, uh, depending on the striking system, if it be in a grand sonnery or a um, or just a plain striker, a half striker. Sorry, just get that in focus. Um, but I um, have sold them from ranging from about four thousand pounds to six thousand pounds. Obviously, a six thousand pounds one would be a uh, would be a grand sonnery, and if it was an extra special one, you know, they can really stretch to about eight thousand pounds. And the reason this one is is um, is going to be vastly cheaper is the fact that you've got this this smaller movement in there. Um, with a um, with other giants, you will have a, a sort of um, well a giant size movement along with a giant size case. Um, so this will be great for somebody that didn't really want to uh, spend the amount of money for um, for one that has the giant movement as well. Um, still no drop off in quality. The case is extremely substantial. It's very heavy, beautifully proportioned. You've got this wonderful um, gilt um, frame for for the dial mask, and then also the dial mask. Excellent condition. There's no marks. Or scratches or anything like that. Um, love, it's been really nicely turned on the inside here. You sort of got three different levels, which sort of integrate integrate in towards the uh, into the dial. Um, all the hands are original. It's just a really really clean and well presented clock. As you can imagine, restoring a case like this is a lot more time consuming than say something of of a more sort of standard size. There we can see the big blue gong that it um, strikes on, which gives a nice sort of uh, ring. Here we can see the movement. We can see the way um, it's been really nicely uh, mounted inside the case with these big um, substantial brackets on either side, screwed to the uh, dial plate. And then also on the underneath, um, you've got screws coming up from the base up into the into the dial plate so it was really well mounted in there and you can just hear by the tick how well the uh, the clock is performing everything's been overhauled cleaned restored to the very high standard these crimson columns have got a really nice um, um, a refinement about them So as I said, you know, if you did, if you didn't want to spend the amount um, for a um, for a giant with um, with um, the giant size movement, this is a great substitute um, for those that you know would like a sort of giant carriage clock, but, but wasn't prepared to pay those sorts of amounts that I mentioned. Um, it's a half half striker and it dates to around sort of circa 1900 so it's quite um, quite a late example um, but saying that uh, it's got you know all the quality that you'd expect um, through um, through to the movement um, through to the case 
as I said, it's extremely substantial, really heavy, um, and it, it just means you just don't have to pay that little bit extra, which is, I think, absolutely wonderful to have that that different option. Um, the Let's go up and have a look at the escapement. We see the escapement's really pumping away. That's all the original silver ring. It's just been um, had the tarnish cut back, uh, cleaned, um, oiled, and then recalibrated. Timing is excellent. You've got uh, the club tooth escape wheel, which uh, adds to the accuracy of the escapement. Let's just have a look at the case in a few different positions. really is a superb thing. It's always hard to gauge the um, the size of something when it's on camera. But um, when I bought it and it arrived, I was absolutely uh, gobsmacked. You sort of uh, have an idea of what to expect because obviously uh, I deal in carriage clocks and I've had a few few giant carriage clocks for sale. Um, but they always take your breath away when they arrive. They never fail to do so. Dial's in excellent condition, as I mentioned. There is um, an ever so slight mark, which I've cleaned the dirt out, so you'd really uh, struggle to see it. It's not a crack, it's just a mark. Um, also, as we look at the back, there is a very, very slight nibble um, on the edge of the glass up here, but it's an original glass and it's at the back, so, uh, you know, I really can't see um, any point in uh, in changing that. So uh, let's turn the hand and uh, hear the clock striking. So there we are. Doesn't put a foot wrong. It's um, it's been on test for a while now, um, so it's available for sale. Um, it's been testing for three weeks now, um, and hasn't put a, a foot wrong. Sometimes you you have to go back to a movement to do some adjustments. Maybe make a spring tighter. Maybe even loosen the spring off. Um, maybe have to adjust the hairspring. So most of the time that's how it is but with this clock it was very very straightforward indeed um, i overhauled the movement tested it for a week outside of the case normally i test a little bit longer outside the case if there needs to be some adjustments needs to be done just to check that the adjustments that i've done actually are correct um, but this one just absolutely floated by and i put it in the case and it's been as uh, it's been testing extremely well so i'm very very happy with its um, with its performance um, just to mention, uh, getting some um, really, I um, um, don't know quite how to put this, um, some offers on eBay that are really quite ridiculously low and I just wanted to, uh, you know, touch on that because, uh, you know, the amount of work that I put into these clocks and I hope to, hope when, especially when you see the unrestored clock by it, uh, you see how much work is put into these clocks, not only to the cases but to the movements as well. I'm not able to, you know, accept offers um, that are, 
you know, like sort of 500 less than what I'm asking for, because what I'm asking for already is at least 10, 20% off the retail value anyway, you know, so then to come down another 500 uh, pounds, when I've already paid um, a premium on top of the auction price, so that I have bought it for, which is like 20, 25%, um, you know, there's just no point making these offers. You know, the best I could do is like two to three hundred pounds um, off because they're already well under a retail price, but they're still in retail condition. So I just wanted to put that out there. Um, you know, don't waste your time. Don't waste my time. You know, I'm here looking for uh, serious collectors and, you know, I want to feel collections. I feel collections all over the world um, and I want to keep doing so. And uh, and to do that and to do the keep on doing the restoration that I um, that I do and to keep that high standard, you know, you can't be making offers like that. So uh, that's that's for you guys out there that are giving me silly offers all the time. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and putting up for, uh, with my rant. And um, I look forward to hearing from some of you in the uh, near future. Please don't forget to subscribe. And um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Bye for now.